means that it is my job this evening to sort of help keep the conversation going, not as a leader, but sort of to help uh, direct the conversation and ensure that we're sticking to process and ensure that we're being progressive. Um, and I'd like to re uh, introduce the rest of our facilitation this evening. Hi, I'm Julie, and we are um, actually, after a Tuesday's GA, we had a long conversation about how to make the, uh, the GA process go a little bit smoother and a little bit better. And so the people, when they go to speak, because it's scary up here, be a little bit more prepared and a little bit more focused. Um, we're doing something called first ear. So when you get in stack, you'll have an opportunity to walk up here and just to kind of touch base with another person, talk about what you're going to do. I'll let you know what I'm hearing you say, and then that way when you come up, you can more clearly um, state what you're saying. So we're going to work on clarifying reiterating uh, and validating what you're saying and making you feel more empowered with what you're saying. Um, this is, because we are an organic body, we do things and we move along as needed and take constructive criticism as it comes and we build on that. So we're going to try this out for a couple of GAs. If it's something that we find that is working for all of us and that is making us feel like we're more empowered and that we are uh, getting our points across more clearly and more concisely and it's helping move the GA along, then we'll continue to do this. If as a group we decide that this is something that's not working for us or is not necessary or it needs to be tweaked, we'll tweak it. Um, but as a stack, um, as a first year, I will just meet people up there and you'll have an opportunity to kind of talk it out. Um, and then if there are other people that are talking about the same thing, well, you'll have the opportunity to talk about it with them and see if maybe it can be made in one statement instead of several. Thanks, y'all. Hi, my name is Q. Uh, I'll be your tip. Can you hear me? Can everybody hear me? Yes. My name is Q. I'll be your tip check. Uh, my job this evening is to see how you all are feeling about certain things as to being said and when you vote on informal and formal proposals. So just make sure you get your hand motions up and down so I can see what's all going on. I'm also here if you feel like you have something to say but maybe you're not comfortable enough to come in front of the group and say it, just catch my attention, I'll come by and be more than willing to hear what you have to say. Did everyone in the back hear that? Kind of had a hard time hearing the Hi, I'm Layla, I'm also Stack, so I'll be paying attention to your hand signals. Um, so, you know, I'm not an auctioneer or anything, so make it obvious. All right, thanks. One other thing that we talked about in the facilitation meeting is that to better just empower us as a group and remember that this is a non-hierarchical system, that you guys also, we can check each other and you guys can be a part of this process too. And just a reminder of like, you know, we all have the ability to say like point a process or check in with a buddy and use our six inch voices like we learned in elementary school when you have to talk to, when you need a clarification from a friend. And if it becomes something that you need to talk about like in a large group because there was something that you really did not actually understand, then you should do that. But if it's something that like either you zoned out or there was another conversation or something was happening, we're all buddies here. Um, so that, that was just something that we discussed as well. This is Megan and she'll be scribe. Hey Megan. Hey. Hey. Thank you. Cool. Um, so, yes. Uh, I just want to say I got a text from Ron. He's in New York. He said there's 32,000 people there and RV is in the thick of it. So, next question would be, who here is new? Is anyone here new? Yeah. 
Welcome to the family, first and foremost. Um, we, we encourage all people from all viewpoints and perspectives and ideologies and backgrounds to come to us. We want to hear everyone's voice and we want to know what everyone has to say because we can't really represent the 99% until we have the 99% here. So thank you for being here and uh, please include your voice in tonight's conversation. We, we, we'd love to have it. Um, so a couple quick housekeeping things real quick. Uh, here at Occupy Richmond and at many of the Occupy movements at large, uh, we use some nonverbal communications to keep the conversation flowing quickly and effectively and ensure people that don't get interrupted. Um, first and foremost, our favorite hand signal. Fingers up in the air, I like it. Then fingers down, I don't like it so much. It's not my favorite thing. Um, we also have Hands toward the side, side, so, so, I'm not really sure, I kind of stand aside, I don't really have a concrete opinion. Um, we also have this signal, which was just referred to. This is point of process. Please use the point of process hand signal when you feel as though the conversation has derailed from the process, or as though the facilitation team is not sticking to the process in an effective way. I should also state that point of process would be an appropriate hand signal to use if you feel as though any particular facilitator or the facilitation team at large isn't doing their job appropriately and you would like to request a new moderator, a new stat keeper. You know, we're, we're only up here to try to keep the, the process going well. We will fail, you know, at times we are human, we are flawed. So if you have any comments or if you need one of us to step down so that the conversation can go smoothly, please let us know. We've also got this signal. I've seen a couple people use it already tonight. This means speak up. Uh, this means that the speaker isn't speaking loudly enough. We can't hear you in the back. Um, this would also be a signal for the facilitation team to use the people's mic, which you, I'm sure all of you heard you earlier, uh, which is mic check. Mic check. Uh, this is to ensure that everyone is on the same page with exactly what is being said. We've also got a couple other signals. We've got. Move it along. You're rambling. Please sum up what you're saying. We've already gotten the content. We're done listening. Um, we've also got lock. This is a very serious hand signal. Lock means that you are potentially willing to leave the movement if whatever motion is on the floor passes or if whatever discussion is on the floor doesn't address your opinion. Um, please don't use this lightly. This is very serious. It will be addressed before any and all other hand signals. That's to ensure that no one's voice is marginalized, and likewise to ensure that we can make the most informed and educated decision as a collective as possible. Uh, we have, we've also got this, this is point of clarification. This means I have a question with, with what has been, what, what is being said, excuse me. That means that you probably don't understand a particular term someone used, or you might not understand the context in which a point is being displayed. This is not to express an opinion. This is not to inject another idea. This is simply to clarify what the speaker is saying. So please keep that in mind when you're using it. Now, at a GA a couple days ago, it was passed that the next several GAs would not use direct response. Um, as I think many of us have seen over the last, uh, what is it, four and a half weeks now? response is kind of overused um, and not used appropriately. Originally it was supposed to be used to ask a question, but that uh, that purpose has sort of been perverted to, I really want to say something to you. I hope you're not offended by me throwing my hands in your face. Yeah. It wasn't really working out. So after the last couple of GAs, uh, we, we didn't use point uh, the, the direct response, but instead if you have something to add to the conversation that is pertinent, we're using this signal. Point of process, or I'm sorry, point of information. This means that you have something to add to the conversation that is pertinent and informative. So uh, the facilitation team sort of decided that we would continue trying to not use direct response and instead use point of information because it went really, really, really well over the last couple of days. And if anyone would like to add to that conversation and, and perhaps bring back direct response, um, facilitation meets after every single GA. We'd love to have your input. We'd love to have your input on the process so that we can work together to make things run as smoothly and effectively as possible. And lastly, but not leastly, Mayday. Two hands up in your head. Something's not going right. I really need to talk to someone right now. 
and then our tip check will come up to you, have a little conversation, figure out what you're saying, and um, bring it back to the GA if necessary. So am I missing any points or any hand signals? I was just going to mention this kind of could be confused with, you know, speak up, point of information, so maybe just keep it up and still. Not to be confused with this or this. Right, so point of information would be one finger up in the air, steadily. Also, so for the last little housekeeping measures, a um, couple things to keep in mind while we're participating in the General Assembly, wait, W-A-I-T, why am I talking? That means listen 80% of the time and talk 20% of the time. It allows you enough time to sort of process your own thoughts, process what's being said before you rashly and immediately respond to whatever you hear. Likewise, as a, a rather relevant segue, um, assume competency in your peers and assume good intentions. We're not here to yell at each other. We're not here to derail the entire movement. We're here to have constructive discourse and make the most informed and intelligent responses as possible. So, without uh, any further ado, are there any work group announcements?